Ragi greetings and a brilliant namaste to you from Shiva. I say Ragi because it's about uh, 5:35 a.m. in the morning here. Um, it's still dark out. Um, we're sort of moving into um, fall season, um, which is a time that we also um, switch the clocks um, an hour back. We fall back an hour. So um, that's that's yet to happen. But you know, um, I'm up um, partly because I had. some some soup at a point last night where um I should really not have had it but it was fresh soup my wife made it with love and care and um I felt I could handle it so here I am um I had to wake up to the call of nature pretty much and um there wasn't any going back after that cuz then I want to share some stuff with you guys so one of the things um as I've started this journey is um people are telling me not so much in the comments so please take the time to comment on my videos when you can um but people are telling me that apparently my why my story of why I'm doing this is really important um so you might have heard bits and pieces of that but that's really the the very surfacey why um the real why of um why I'm into wellness and how did I come up with a mission of wellness for all um is what we're going to explore a little bit um in this video so if i if i kind of look back at um my life uh, i kind of see two themes relating to um this being where i am today one is um just my passion my interest as a child you know i was barely um 10 even um and i remember distinctly this is one of many stories that um my uncle um who stayed with us or i stayed with you know in a joint family where my uncle also stayed in the same house um used to subscribe to a a health and fitness magazine called um health and nutrition I was just like waiting for the day that magazine would arrive at our doorstep and the moment it would arrive I would like you know chase down the mailman go to the mailbox retrieve the magazine and just tear into it you know um what's the latest food that you know could make me a superhero who knows right or um what's what's the best way to remain disease free and not get that like irritating cold in the winters um and things of that nature you know so so that was sort of a really early start into the whole sort of health perspective and um if i fast forward over um the decades of my life that have occurred after that um i also see other themes of um, wellness around me and unfortunately there were themes of unwellness more than wellness um maybe you know a lot of people can you know relate to that because um i can tell you i witnessed physical unwellness um through my mom you know she did some supposedly cool diets to get in shape but boy did they play havoc with her body in the long term um i saw the emotional unwellness aspects through my dad who um you know was a, was a strong dude you know he was fit he you know he hardly got sick things of that nature um uh, but after his dad died, um something in him just crumbled and um he started getting, getting these bouts of almost breathlessness and kind of like an asthma deal but it wasn't really asthma i mean he had a bit of rhinitis to begin with um but but after losing his father it was like an emotional you know string and snap and now he had to rely on medications um which 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 were great in the sense that it you know continued to let him function at a level that he was uh, generally used to but it wasn't natural still right it wasn't the body really supporting him it was sort of you know being propped up by medication to do that um i see you know an example of um mental unwellness or intellectual um atrophy or um intellectual you know just uh diversion you know with another close family member who feel due to um their experiments with substances and um a certain amount of abuse over time um just lost that clarity that focus and although they were like probably the sharpest brain um in my immediate vicinity um you know this was a person who could um you know recite the most abstruse uh, quotes or you know stories from history at the drop of a hat um this was a person who was was really um 
good at expressing themselves not just through 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 verbal um, gestures and cues and articulation but also um, through the written word um, and this was a person you know who was just overall a very charismatic um, personality but you know after something again um, tinkered with their brain or mental faculties um, they lost that clarity and that concentrate focus that would have led them to who knows what heights of greatness if said um, abuse had not happened um, and then finally I have my own journey um, which I think is is what um, some of the people have requested that I share um, so my my big wellness episode was maybe two um, one was a failed relationship that really played havoc with um, my emotional centering and I felt um, that um, I did not have successful relationship or I needed to um, be trained you know my background is engineering so I felt a need to at the time to train myself in the art of um, uh, marriage and relationships to to go another round perhaps which I did and you know so far so good I'm thinking it just so you know <laughs> I'm just kidding um, I, I do try and you know present myself more fully based on those experiences I have um, tried to learn actively from experiences both good and more importantly the not so good ones um, because those are the ones where truly the growth occurs the good ones are stuff that's really in our comfort zone comes to us naturally or um, somewhere somehow um, things are stacked in our favor but it's really when the odds are against us how do we navigate those times that kind of separate the um, you know the thrivers from the victims or the survivors but um Besides my relationship failure, the second big failure for me was a career failure, and this was this came at a time when I was overworked, um, and that led to my physical health declining, which was again a first for me because I was um, basically a you know a healthy, strong child and adult most of my life. Um, you know, never had to take you know medications other than the occasional um, you know fever reducer things like that, but um, nothing really chronic. Knock on wood. And, but this, you know, this bout of um, burnout at work, um, you know, not giving my body the, the proper nutrition, the proper um, fitness challenge, and the proper rest it needed, um, just basically um, screwed up everything in, in not so many words. And I found myself um, basically left with nothing to carry on with. And, and the other part was it that... Um, as I had steeped deeper and deeper into my work, it was it was also going further and further away from my mission. Um, and when, after you know, healing and recovery and um, kind of restoring that neuroplasticity um, in my life, when I came to the realization that wellness is the foundation of everything, that is when I focused wholly and solely on that. Lo and behold, um, you know, I was kind of back in that zone shivaness again of um, feeling I could take on anything that I had the universe at my back that my relationships were um, going to be successful and that I could devote time to um, the most important and essential things in my life and so yeah that's that's sort of my journey um, in a nutshell but I would love to hear um, your journey um, you know your heartbreaks your wellness stories because um, it's it's not just I always say that again this channel is a you know is I'm hoping is is a is a front and center example of that is that it's not the the glitzy um, videos you produce or the you know the success stories you share it's really that a human to human connection of yes this is painful yes we might not have a solution just yet but we're in this together so on that note, um, this is Shiva signing off and I'm yours in wellness.